future Imagineers. My name is Younes. My name is Jonah. I'm Bryce. My name is Seamus. And my name is Tyler. We surveyed the landscape for possible choices of our project and finally came up with building a prosthetic arm for a young lady named Julie who has been without a left arm since birth and would like to swim but her current arm is inadequate. Now I'm going to talk about Julie's needs and requirements. When we interviewed Julie, we proposed ideas and narrowed down the range of possible solutions. Her current arm that she was using was inadequate because it sinks, not waterproof, poor aesthetics, the straps came off and it had no propulsion whatsoever. Her current solutions were they were expensive, not common, and the insurance didn't cover them. And using only one arm, nobody could teach her how to swim. Next, we wanted to narrow down the field of possibilities the rest of the way to one possibility. My dad knew somebody who was very good with molding who, because he was in the custom orthotics industry. So we took a field trip to him at When the Shoe Fits and talked to him. He told us all about different types of molding techniques. And we did decide that it would be possible to do this on our own, but extremely difficult. And it might not even work. So we were extremely excited when Julie told us that the man who made her old arm would be willing to help us make her a new arm. This increased our, pos our chances of success. Immediately, we took a field trip to a step forward where he worked, and we found a suitable position for the, the hand of the arm. Another day, we took another trip to a step forward to begin the production process. We began making a plaster tape cast of Julie's left arm and a healthy person's arm of similar size. We inserted a metal pipe into each mold and filled them with liquid plaster. Next, we removed the plaster tape and smoothed the plaster pieces. Then we heated a sheet of plastic to 400 degrees and vacuum formed it around the plaster pieces. We then cut the plastic off the plaster of the full size arm to create a mold. Next, we inserted the socket into the mold at the correct angle and filled it with foam. We removed the outer plastic fold from the foam, filled the imperfections with Bondo, and painted the yellow foam white. We then heated a harder type of plastic and vacuum wrapped the yarn with it. Finally, we tapped the metal pipe with a hammer which broke the plaster out of the socket. Now that the arm was finished, we began testing the final product. We tested for the buoyancy and it turns out that it floats, it's waterproof, it attaches directly to her arm, it has drag, and it also is good looking. We reviewed Julie and it turns out that Julie liked it, but she knew she needed practice to know how to use her new arm. We took a video from outside watching her swim also. We shared our findings with Mike Vanek from A Step Forward, a professional prosthetics designer. We also shared a project from a writer from the Columbian and a reporter from Coin Local 6 News. We appeared on the front page on Thursday's paper as well as on the air.